against the local opponent. But as expected, Leinster back to full strength for the game that will define their season, win or lose. Porter Sheehan and Furlong return, arguably the best club front row in the world right now, with Ross Maloney and James Ryan in behind, and a back row of Caelan Doris at six, Josh Van der Fleer at seven, and Jack Coleman at number eight. Backs then, Ross Byrne will once again take the helm at 10, where so much of what Leinster do flows through their fly half, and Jemison gives them park at nine inside him. Gary Ringrose is back to partner Robbie Henshaw in the Leinster midfield. James Lowe returns from a calf injury to take his place on the wing, with Jimmy O'Brien on the opposite flank, and Hugo Keenan, the ever-reliable, at fullback. That's the home side. What about the visitors then? Well, like Leinster La Rochelle, rested their frontline players last weekend in the top 14. But they arrive here locked and loaded. Wardy, Bogarit, Antonio will give that Leinster front row something to think about. Will Skelton needs absolutely no introduction in the second row. It's France international Gregory Aldrit leading the back row alongside Pierre Boudon and the versatile and deadly Ravani Portia. Kerr Barlow and Antoine Astoy run the back line at 9 and 10. Jonathan Dante is a wrecking ball at inside centre. He also back fit with Raymond Rule, who broke Leinster Hearts last year. Dylan Lades on the opposite flank and the ever-experienced Bruce Dulan taking his place in a quick and dangerous back three. Quick look at the replacements bench then, and you can say the one thing, I guess, from Leinster this year versus last is that they look stronger, the likes of Jason Jenkins. Ronan Keller are back to take his place. He played in the URC semi-final against Munster last weekend. The experience of Kean Healy is looking to win five Heineken Cups, the first player ever to do so, should he get his hands on the European trophy once again. It is a cracking atmosphere. It is a beautiful day and a glimpse into the visitors' dressing room where La Rochelle, the defending champions, will make their way out to a cauldron of noise. Leinster, can they use the crowd here? Can they use the stadium they know inside out? A home in home to take full advantage of every inch of this pitch that they've played on predominantly for the last five or six weeks or so. It didn't yield the result they wanted last weekend, but that's gone and forgotten. Thoughts of Munster buried this week as Stuart Lancaster and Leo Cullen guided their team through preparation in an attempt to get their hands back on this trophy for a fifth time. La Rochelle looking to make it back-to-back -back victories with a Corkman at the helm. It's all set up beautifully for the Heineken Cup final. Alongside me, Lyon, Ulster and Ireland, Stephen Ferris. Stephen, a penny for your thoughts here. What an occasion. What an occasion. What an atmosphere. The blue flags of Leinster, the yellow, of course, of La Rochelle. Leinster have been so dominant. Last 16, big win over Ulster. Quarter-final, big win, of course, over Leinster. And then, obviously, that dominant performance against Toulouse. Can they get over the final hurdle? We'll wait and see, Hugh. I tell you what, we've been here plenty of times for Ireland Internationals. You have played here plenty of times in Ireland. I think Jamie Heaslip and Jerry said in the side on Fiona, it, it, the atmosphere here is, is better than an international. You cannot hear yourself think. It's a party atmosphere. The tunes have been blasting for what seems forever before kickoff. And uh, I just can't wait for it to get started. The anticipation, the players now on a huddle. Both sets of players, Leinster and La Rochelle. Leinster have got the kickoff. Flags making their way off the pitch, so too. All the pageantry leaving. Jonathan Dante, what a monster he is in that French inside centre. So much of what Leinster do rests on the shoulders of this man. He is the ice man. Jonathan Sexton out injured, but Ross Byrne unflappable as he has been at every European game this season. The man in the middle needs to keep his control as well and control of this game. Jakob Pepper from South Africa. His assistants today are Christoph Riley from England, Carl Dixon also from England. And Thomas Foley, our TMO, completes the official set. A famous European music ringing out around the Aviva. La Rochelle. Third final in a row. Lost out the first against Toulouse. Came good against Lanster last weekend. And they've been building towards this, as Ronan O'Gara said, pretty much the entire season. It's the Heineken Cup final 2023. We are ready to go.
first line of the game will go to Leinster. Bit of a nervy swing of the boot there from uh, Brice Dulan. So much experience at full back, but Leinster have a line out. Yeah, a bit of a nervy start out. Wasn't yeah. a great kick by Byrne either. Actually went inside yeah. West, but Dulan, not a brilliant clearance. You want to exit. What an opportunity. We know the Leinster score a hell of a lot of tries off line out. First line taken short and Jack Conan races away. Back inside to Jack Sheehan. It's the dream start for Leinster. 41 seconds on the clock and the blue of Leinster hit the front. What a start. The crowd going absolutely wild. Atmosphere is electric. But Leinster, cool, calm, collected at the line out. A bit of a dummy to the back and then just look at Conan. Steps in and Dan Sheehan follows his throw and away he goes. You're not going to stop the hooker from there. He didn't play in last year's final. And what a start to this match, Hugh. Incredible inside ball. Dan Sheehan, try machine for Leinster this season and last. Ross Maloney went up, but they went to the shun at front and it was a, a beautiful decoy. And Sheehan, you're not going to stop him from there. The perfect start for Leo Cullen and for Leinster. And La Rochelle stunned, as you can see, the reaction on the bench and the high fives for the hooker. It's really interesting to see the reaction now from La Rochelle. You're absolutely pumped up. The ball's kicked off. Yes, they do get it cleared. But to be underneath your sticks in the opening minute of the game, what reaction will we see from La Rochelle after that? So first conversion attempt then from Ross Byrne, 81 points in the Heineken Cup so far this season, he's 88% off the tee. A small breeze in the stadium, but nothing to write home about. And from a roar to greet the try to absolute silence, as Ross Byrne nails the conversion, a dream start for Lenska. That's perfect. Ross Byrne with an 88% kick in accuracy in the competition. He's been brilliant all season. No Johnny Sexton. He's going to be a leader today. And there you see Stuart Lancaster, his final game in the Leinster coaching ticket before he goes to France next year. But Jack Conan bursting away. Assist for the try. And uh, what a resurgence he's had as well. Gave a couple of interviews about three or four weeks ago where he spoke about his dip in form coinciding with a medical condition that they were so lucky to be able to spot only for the, the doctor's advice that he received and the care that he got, he might never have spotted it. He's found the problem and he's back to his best. He's back to his best. Starting right, so British and Irish lines, number eight. Then all of a sudden he just... Gap, please. Not that he number vanished, eight. but he was on the bench right. an awful lot for Ireland. Peter O'Mahony, obviously. Stay there. Taking a spot with a six jersey in most games. But what a start from him to this match. Leinster 93.2%, Dan Sheehan as well, well. 78 from 82 before going into the game, which is the top return for a hooker, James Lowe, that's why he's back in the team, looking for a 50-22 yeah. here, does he have it, does he have it? What a kick from James Lowe! It's that's just such intelligent play, it's unbelievable from James Lowe, they're going to go wide, no they're not, they're going to come back, and do yeah, has to turn and chase to the corner, and can't get there. So if you've just kicked the ball off, Jack Conan runs straight through you. You get a line out in him, you're on your own try line again. Conan goes up, this time he does take it. Oh, Porter. Of goal. The wraparound from Sheehan, but Larachelle got up to spoil. It's a scrum to Leinster. Can see what trying to do with the hooker on the wrap. Here we go. Hooker's in. On there. Jack Conan, he's went up twice in the line out and obviously caught the one. To put Dan Sheehan away. It's a big start to the game for him. This will be interesting to scrum. I mentioned the former Porter, Sheehan and Furlong. But they're up it's against Wardy, Duggery, San Antonio. Two bohemians up front rows going head to head here. It was an area of the game that Leinster fans and supporters are maybe a let's go, let's small go. bit anxious about Drought. because of the power, the size, the weight, physicality of this La Rochelle Boy. pack. 
Jackson! Let's see if they can lock it out. Porter up against Antonio, giving away about four stone away, which you don't see too often. Gibson Park, the perfect scrum, low into contact. Quick ball again. Caitlin Doris this time trying to make his way towards the five metre line. Here's Maloney, tackled by Jonathan Dante, a massive hit by the inside centre to stop Maloney. And this track that's missed out, and here's Hugo Keenan. Tackle from Dante, and it goes quickly. Rossburn out into the corner. Jimmy O'Brien has Leicester's second try. Well, I tell you what, Stephen Ferris, any questions about nerves or could Leicester put in a performance? They have started like a dream here. Started like a house on fire. Just look at this pass. Zipped across. Josh Van der Fleer leaves it. Hugo Keenan gets absolutely clattered, but it's the speed of ball. Something that Gibson Park has been renowned with all season long. That's a nice run in in the corner. Jimmy O'Brien, a super finish. They dot the ball down. Beautiful pass from Ross Byrne on a plate for Jimmy O'Brien into the corner. 12 points to nil. La Rochelle are stunned. This is going to test all their experience and leadership and composure, I guess, because Leinster at the moment, everything that they're doing is going to plan. Conversion from the corner now coming up. But they couldn't have dreamed for this kind of start. Two tries inside seven minutes. Just looking at the possession. That's where it's all coming from. The pressure. Leinster 80%. La Rochelle 20. We've seen in recent weeks, you've got to starve this Leinster side of possession to have a chance. La Rochelle haven't been able to do that so far. Another good strike, it's gone left. Is it come back in enough? Just off the post, so 12 points to nil. Ross Byrne runs back to take his place, but uh, Hugo Keenan almost got there. What about the pass from Byrne? Beautiful. You've got to go back to where it started, though. That halfway line, the line out, the peel by Van der Fleer, the pass, and then it's back inside to reverse. You get the La Rochelle defence backtracking with a lovely 50 22 from James Lowe. Once again, it's Jack Conan underneath the inside. Go Pepper back to James Lowe, just uh, all on. Advising Jameson gives the part of what he's entitled to do. Here's Dunat for the room to run it back. And there he goes, breaks the first tackle. Carvalho. And release. Well treat on the shoulder. Back with a scrum half. Astoy. Skelton. Big, imposing figure of the Australian international Dante big tackle that's a statement hit from Robbie Henshaw who got straight away, into his away, face thumped him in the chest and put him down not an easy thing to do as you can probably imagine Skelton again another carry and uh, Dante a little bit slow I tell you what he knows he was hit by Robbie Henshaw now here's Aldrich jogging himself to the halfway line Kerbarlo right they go Astoy Botia that's lovely play Michelle getting hands on the ball for the first time in this game. And away. Astoy calling for it. Just a bit of a jump with that ball. And it goes again, here's Rule. Out for Boudin is waiting. Towers his way over the first tackle. There's Rule again trying to pick and go himself. Runs away way to the danger. Lost. And Rochelle growing back into this game. Antonio. Winnie Antonio, all 22 stone, eight of them. Out it goes again, Aldrich, good tackle, big good. hit from Sheehan. Good. Support from James Ryan and the two Leinster forwards drag him backwards. And you that? Antonio, Astoy once more, rule, big break, tackle from Ringrose and then Hugo Keenan. You make those reads and you've got to make the tackle and they did so and they win the penalty, brilliant defence. He's off, he's off you. Gibson Park wasn't back you know 10, 10 the advantage, they weren't back 10, Ross Maloney, Leinster well, waiting for nobody, crossfield kick from Ross Byrne, you can see the chase is there from O'Brien, there's too much on it, they go back for the penalty, but Leinster are sharp and they're awake in defence and in attack. When you're inside 10, you can only be placed on top by your teammates, not by them. It's going to be a yellow card, is no. it? 
Yeah, Carbarlo. Cynical foul. A cynical penalty. Given away and off he trots 10 minutes in the bin. But what defence, this is where it all comes from. Knocking La Rochelle back time and time again. Boudon on the wing, trying to steamroll over boys. Right. And Josh van der Fleer, just that small window of opportunity, and he goes after it. Gets the penalty and then Gibson Park milks another 10 yards and also milks a, a nice little yellow card off the back of it. So La Rochelle down to 14, Kerr Barlow in the bin for 10 minutes again. Here was the quick tap and go, and as you say, cynical there, arms around him, you can't do yeah, that. Yeah, Whatever bit's standing in his way, you might get away with that, but not full-on tackle after about five metres. Definitely not. Ross Maloney again. Oh. Ross Maloney, too much on the ball. It's went forward. Backwards. No, backwards, it says. Lack of pepper. Ball there for Gibson Park. No ball! No! Kind of speed of the rock ball. That's a slower down a little. Look at this reverse pass to Sheehan! Darren Sheehan gets his second try. It's one way traffic. La Rochelle are being blitzed. Boy, a brilliant Leinster performance. Thank you, brother. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yet again, from Leinster. Gibson Park, the time he has, it's actually a miss in the line-out. Time and all round, but Boudon, he doesn't hold on to possession. A couple of phases later, look at this for a pass. Zipped across on a plate. A brilliant width by Dan Sheehan, just staying out there, it will come to him. And that guy can score tries for fun like he's shown okay, all you. season long. Okay. Brilliant pass from Gibson Park. And Lancaster, Leo Cullen. Goodman as well. I tell you what, they wouldn't have dreamed of this start. Ross Byrne once again from the corner. They're not making it easy for the goal kick, I can tell you. He's one from two. Last one was very close. Oh, trust me, Hugh. As a player, you do dream of this. <laughs> you do go to bed at night hoping something like this might happen. Again off the post. 17 points to nil. La Rochelle. And look at stunned out there at the moment. They've got to find, find some way to get back into this game just to stop the flow. Yeah, had a bit of possession there, La Rochelle, but it was all around the halfway line. I suppose in the first 10 minutes when you don't have the ball, you just want to play a bit. You've got to find territory, field, position. Lost. James though again, that Come massive on. boot of his. All the way over the 10 metre line where Priest Dulan is waiting. Two handed carry, no way past Jimmy O'Brien though, or Ross Maloney. Release! Told to release. Tackle is made by Tia at scrum half. No Carbarlo on the pitch, so they're going to have to chop and change at the moment. It's the Leave open it flanker is going in there. Too late. Penalty La Rochelle. <laughs> Dylan Lades. Brought down by O'Brien, still playing Come penalty on. advantage. Hence we're told to leave it. Astoy has come half. John T. Put themselves in the scoring platform here. Julian, beautiful chip. Henshaw's back there, go back for the penalty. Too late. Run and you forward. wonder at this stage, do they think about just getting three points on that board? Anything. Ron Nagar was on the pitch. I think he might take a three point. Be interesting call here, but you just watch that Leinster defence. Players formed over you. Tackle, and that's really it. Nobody else can in to compete for the ball. Just fanning out that blue wall. You will not enter. Well, I guess you're missing your scrum half. If they can get this down close to the five meter line, yeah, they'll back their pack to try and put it up to Leinster that. here. I'll just do enough. We know La Rochelle has a, a huge mall. Like the Will Skelton in there, Sazi. Antonio, Bugarit, of course. Got to get the throw right and then build off that. Run the clock down as well. The care Barlow back in the pitch. Taken by Skelton. Going to set the driving ball here. La Rochelle, Steve Furlong hanging on. Trying to disrupt at the front. It's been stolen. It's been stolen brilliantly by Leinster. It's dropped out. 
James Lowe yes, that's took his eye off it. Player. The banishment play now. La Rochelle, can they get something back yes. here? Five metres yes. from the Leinster line. First real attacking opportunity for the French side. First knock on against James Lowe. We'll go back to a scrum for La Rochelle. Got Jack it. Conan, I think it did. The same player at the mall. Everybody on side by playing it. So no the steal. It's come to over the top and rips it away from the La Rochelle, but a poor pass. James Lowe knocks it on, but it was a good opportunity squandered by La Is Rochelle. Right? Let's see what they can do from here. Ball so, big real treat at uh, number eight. Three tries in the Heineken Cup this season so far for the France International. And he's made 133 metres in contact, so don't be surprised to see him pick and have a go down Ross Burns' channel. I'm sure the Leinster back row will be waiting for that. Let's respect the line. Left. La Rochelle lead the way in the competition for scrum penalties okay, one. Go left on my line. I'll bring him. But they'll not be looking at penalty okay. here. They'll be looking to drive Stay Leinster there. back and give themselves a, a really good platform to try and get over for a five or seven pointer here, Hugh. They need something on the scoreboard. They do. And they have a brilliant chance. It's Dulan at scrum half. Crouch! Boyne! Set! Same ball. Okay. 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 Both listening. Okay. You need to take the weight, keep the pressure consistent. Don't deflate. Okay. Don't overlean. The old right ear of Andrew Porter with the, the blood again. He's getting married in July. And I, was speaking about uh, his fiance, has asked him several times to wear a scrum cap. He says he can't hear a thing if he puts on a scrum cap. So. The year is going to suffer, and he's quite happy with that. Anyway, it's got a lock down the scrum here now. Hence, they're defending their line. Good. Fine. Set. It's too instable. It's instability. It's free engaged yeah, both teams. Yeah. Just both we teams keep, there. We've got to keep losing the gap. a bit of balance. The new Ross man, of course, tagged for long. Just seeing him losing his feet, head down, a bit of grass in the forehead. 50th uh, Heineken Champions Cup appearance right, today for Tyg Furlong, as it is for Brees Dulac. Manage the gap. Himself and Porter, either side of Dan Sheen, against Wardy, Bugari and Antonio. Keep the gap. Crouch! Boyne! Set! Gillan with the feet. Nine nine. Strike from Bougarit, it's at the back now, controlling the scrum. Stephen Ferris mentioned it, and off goes Aldrit. It's a penalty coming. Aldrit has turned the wrong side. He's been held up, but they have a penalty. That's the scrum power you mentioned, Steve. Oh, it's huge. One. Angle. Andrew Porter being penalised. First, first infringement. Number He's given away 15 penalties in this number competition. On That's number 16. As you rightly said about the, the blood coming from his ear. Another stoppage in play, but what about that for a shove? The blue on the angle Ball first. comes in from Dulant. And away they go. And you have yeah, two guys that size in, in the engine room, first the second eight. rows. Helped so, so much. Boudin as well. Serious pressure. And Aldrit nearly gets over the line. Just held up by good, some good Leinster defence there. So time back on, and we're going to pack down for another scrum. I'm sure Ronald O'Gara delighted that the majority of the Simbin with Kerbara has taken place down this end of the pitch and been involved in scrummaging on the five-metre line. I guess it just negates that 14-15 influence. It sure does. Only a couple of minutes left on that. Stay here for as long as possible. But it's a forward pack that's doing the hard work for him, sitting on the bench. Roots! Set. Ball to the back, stay behind. Attack again. It's at the back with Aldrich. Struggling to go forward. He's kept control of that ball. Out it goes from Dula. With a short pass. Dante, he's so dangerous. Dante is so dangerous. The wrecking ball 
has bashed his way over for La Rochelle's first try of the game. They needed that. They're back in it, and it's gone to the inside centre. I'll oh, have another look at this one. The grounding. He looks up to the skies, but what a carry. Direct. Bang. See you later. That's Gary Ringrose he's just knocked off. International sender. Knocks people over for fun. Not on this occasion. Does he get the ball down? Ooh, it's tight. <laughs> I tell you what. Ron Rogara enjoyed that one. They must be pretty happy with the grounding because they're not checking it. Conversion being lined up. And that, that should take us back to Kerbarlo, 15 against 15. So during the Sinbin period, La Rochelle haven't turned it too badly. This will be seven points. Unbelievable, Hugh. But it's the field position, isn't it? The penalty in midfield. I think it was. No, the lads was offside in the place. middle of the park. And then they got themselves down there and they stayed there. And that's one thing that La Rochelle do very well. When they get into the opposition 22, they usually come away with points. But you can't take anything away from that finish. Look at that par from Dante. 16 stone seven. Bashing his way over. Yeah, no problem with the grounding either. In that angle. Nothing Josh van der Fleer could do to stop him. 20 minutes in. We've had four oh. tries already. Three of the Leinster. And one for La Rochelle. Ten points now. the gap. And use it eight. It's amazing. I thought it might have been a low-scoring game. Leinster last year didn't score a try, of course. Release. La Rochelle scored three. Yeah, and they didn't score in the previous final as well. They won against Racing, uh, which was, you know, incredible when you think about the, the amount of tries that they've scored Five, this year. 43 tries in Europe alone. They're averaging 6.1 tries per match, Leinster. Yeah, when the finals came around, they just seemed not to be able to find top gear. They've certainly started brilliantly here. La Rochelle responding with seven points. And they're back to 15, Carbaro back on the pitch. Well, look at the double efforts it's from Leinster. As soon as they make a tackle, back on their feet, counter rock, and, and James it. Ryan is flying into everything. Box kick from the scrum half. Rule is going to try and get to Keenan. Needs a bit of help. Cleaned out by Doris. It's there for Gibson Park. Here's Jack Conan. But T.A. Yeah, on his no feet release. straight away. No release though on the ground. It must be clear. And you can no, see Bottia, yeah. I mean, he's, he's strong over the in. ball, but you have to release away, and he didn't do so to Fijian International. He didn't. That reminds me of the old-school Brown O'Driscoll, tackle a man, roll with him, on your feet, never let go. We'll just see it again. Jack Conan again with a carry. Never releases him, does he? Hands on the deck as well. Help him support his body, feet, body weight. So Ross Byrne called for a shot at goal. Cup final, you take every point on offer. I'm going to fancy to get this one. Missed his last two from the corner with the conversions. Clean strike, no problem, flags go up, 20 points to seven. Aaron Nogar was slapping his desk in the coaching box. It's maybe it's a, a coach killer as they call it, when you score a try, you just want to get back down there and they don't, they give away a, a cheap penalty and Rossburn will knock those over all day long. Once again it's Conan. Must be back. Slips past the first tackle of Take a step, please. Reda Wardy. And use it. Ball there for Gibson Park. Plenty of height on this one. That's a brilliant kick. It's going to give him every chance to get up and take it. And Jimmy O'Brien obliges. Full back wing. Porter goes on with a pick and go. No, leave but it. That was a superb kick from Jameson Gibson Park. Quick ball again. Ross Byrne. Spots a bit of a gap Ryan in behind. Chases on from Ringrose, and so too Robbie Henshaw. 
Australia's back there, sits up Conley for the fly half. 12, never on side. 12. And Jonathan Dante was offside, so Leinster have a penalty. He looks uh, as confused as perhaps we are. I didn't see that at all, I have to say. No, I was yeah. looking straight down the line of it. In the commentary position here at the Viva. And there's could have taken his pick. There was two or three lads offside. Just ambling back. 12. Too casual. They know the ball's probably going to be kicked away. <laughs> You'd almost say it was lazy in defence. Ross Byrne inside the 22. Leinster will have the line out then. You don't see the huddles as much anymore, but the communication between the Leinster pack as they dander towards the line out just inside Number the 22. Will we see another trick play, Hugh? The line out hasn't been perfect so far, but that was straight to Ross Maloney. 24 line outs going into the competition. That went forward, though. It's just on forced error. Well, Gary Ringwells is saying that uh, La Rochelle were offside. He's furious with the referee and assistant referee on this side, Carl Dixon, for not spotting it. Okay, thank you. That's done by a player that's on his feet, onside, and bound. He's down, ball is out. He plays the arm. The Leinster fans not happy about that. They're saying he slapped onto the arm. I think there was a bit of arm and ball there. We've seen the arm. Let's go, lads. And he's happy that it was on the arm. Just stay on the left. I can manage him if you do your bit. Come to the side, thank you. Well, Jakob Piper just said to give some part, the ball was out, so stay he's entitled there. to play it if he stayed bound. It's up to you to get the pass away, but Leinster fans not too happy, as you've probably heard. Kerr Barlow to feed the scrum. Wait for the bind call. Bind! Free kick. There's none of that in your ball. It's a good decision because there's been a lot of messing about at scrum time. Two or three times on the Leinster line. Yeah, outside. Referee Jackal Piper. It's moved. Just exerting a bit of dominance around that. Hopefully sort it out. So Antoine Astoy. It's out of 22, so he just launches up in the air. James Lowe takes it. Good catch as well. As he was slightly ahead of the ball when he went up for it. Here's Tyke Furlong. Support from Van der Fleer. Quick ball for Gibson Park, back in the pocket is Ross Byrne, and he returns the favour. Hugo Keenan after this one, so to Jimmy O'Brien, up he goes! Ross Byrne. Off forward. Kerr Barlow there to receive the loose one. Advantage being played to La Rochelle. Away, Blue! No hands, Blue, leave it! Where's the ball? Lost it, no! Raymond Rule at scrum half. It's fine, leave it there. All reach. Last feet. Porter puts him to ground. Advantage Takes is over. His place in the defensive line. Astoy has to try and get the back line going here. And it goes down from Sutuni. Turning legs. Go on. Stay there. Stay there. Leinster fighting for everything on the ground. And Josh van der Fleer in the thick of things, thrown out of the way. Sutuni under pressure. Good tackle, Gibson Park, and then follow up from James Ryan. Leinster piling through, applying maximum pressure every time. La Rochelle get hands in the ball. Astoy can only kick the ball, and he'll do well to find touch from there. It's not a bad kick. It sits up tiny though for James Lowe. Does that? He's got it. Away, blue. Lost. La Rochelle have it. Carbarlo, Antonio. Dante, Skelton, driven back into the ground, and again, Leinster swarming on it. Aldrich, nice line, short line from Roman Sazi. Kerr Barlow, no room for Dulan. 
Gary Ringrose this time. Leinster Gary flying into no, tackle no, after no. tackle. La Rochelle no. don't have a moment to think, and they have a penalty. But that is incredible pressure no. from Leinster. It's the line speed, the intent. Oh, we see a bit of a scuffle break tonight. What a passage of play, far side of the pitch, Levani Bodia gets a turnover. La Rochelle trying to play on their own half once again. Good caught by Gary Ringrose, Bobby Henshaw getting off the line and dominating the tackles, but it's everybody piling in behind him. Josh van der Fleer, James Ryan, Bodia, the demolition man. I need you with me, please. OK, let's go down pitch no, side. Bernard Jackman standing by. I mean, just the pressure relentless from Leinster, Birch. Yeah, what a start from Leinster. I don't know if you caught Leo Cullen before the game okay. when he was asked what he thought. He so said, we got the kick off. And they had a plan. They kicked okay. the duel and they knew and they he'd kick it off. Obviously, he sliced reacted. it. So they got a so liner further the up the field. But Leinster haven't react. played that move okay. off the liner. I haven't seen Stop it for that. two we'll years, three years. And it was put in place to target a weakness in the La Rochelle. Uh, defensive system and its score from that was a dream start and then the smarts the way they open up that backfield for the 50-22 from James Lowe Leinster have been near pitcher perfect part that one handling error from James Lowe which gave La Rochelle field position and more importantly they are winning the physical battle they are making that breakdown an absolute mess they're piling bodies in they're unorthodox in defence you're seeing guys shooting out of the line but hitting and sticking and La Rochelle look rattled and even there with a great turnover from Bodia they didn't really have the energy to go and look at space. It was very one out. Antonio carried, Skelton carried when the space was on the outside. So they've had a dream start. They just need to make sure that they keep on the right side of Jack Paper and keep playing the game in La Rochelle's half because La Rochelle's to go chase it now. Look, go back to last year, Bernard, as well. It was, it was. I guess maybe Leinster didn't quite expect the physicality, but it's flipped this year. They have put it to La Rochelle. Oh, they brought it to La Rochelle, and that that sends a message. You saw that massive hit there from from James Ryan. You saw Ring Rose. He lost one collision against Dante, but he's put in a couple of big hits and they're making the ball slow Carbarlo's having to go search for it and that's taking La Rochelle out of, out of their stride and Ross Byrne gets three points here you know it's a big a big lead for La Rochelle to chase they're a spirited team they won't die but Leinster have brought a massive amount of energy and winning that physical battle as he said that La Rochelle normally win week in week out let's see if Ross Byrne can knock this one over Been so consistent all season long, particularly from the boots. There you go, flags up 23 points to seven. James Ryan has gone off for a HIA, so Jason Jenkins has come in in his place, but Leinster in control, Stephen Ferris. Yeah, very much so. Something before the game, he was a little worried about a number of the Leinster players. Haven't played for a couple of weeks. James Lowe as well. Last game he started was on the 7th of April, wrapped up in cotton wool the last few weeks. Some of the lads, but I'll tell you what, it's done them in the world of good. They are flying at the minute. Lost takes it on to the 22. James Lowe back in the pocket, swings the left boot. I think he might just be happy to find touch here, give uh, everybody a chance to catch the breath because it has been a relentless 31 minutes so far. Well, that's Thank the you. first time we've seen La Rochelle put pressure on the kicker. But Sazi on this occasion gets off the line, showing a bit of energy themselves. Line, James Lowe's been sitting in the pocket all the time in the world to nudge it down there. Six. A small bit of a hook off his left foot. That gives La Rochelle a half decent attacking opportunity. La Rochelle set the ball to the back with Pierre Bougaric. Still going forward and he's still bound. Yeah, down by the same old still. He's still there. Botia. Tackled by Sheehan. Oh, no it's broken down. And now La Rochelle will get a chance to use it. Skelton calling for it. Skelton gets it. Dropped by Ross Maloney. Penalty. Number. Number two. It's against Borgarit for holding. That's what we just spoke about. He held the player. Number two. Held the player past the breakdown. No. So watch Bogarit. He has the ball here at the back. When it goes forward, it's uh, Botia eventually take this. But just watch Bogarit when he goes forward. He doesn't release the player. Holds on for too long. And that was what the penalty just under his Josh van der Fleer. He's dragging him out with no hands on the ball. That's what the penalty was for. It's just silly, isn't it? it really is. Just 
more pressure. Booger, you can see he's well, not happy with the decision, but he's got to take it in the chin. Right. You know, we listened to Ronan O'Gara talk before the match about the things that La Rochelle can control. The They're goal. the things that they can control, not conceding silly penalties like that, which is just unnecessary and gives possession back to Leinster. But he also talked about pre-match when he was yeah, down with the, yeah. the guys there, about you know when a team's on top, is it because of the pressure, you know, making these mistakes, giving away cheap penalties, it's because Leinster have them under the pump view. They really do. Every facet of this game, Leinster are in control. They seem to have the referee on side as well, don't they? They do, which is crucial. I mean, look, we've 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 been here before with Jaco Pepper. You think back to that uh, Ireland New Zealand game, that famous clothesline game, which no, no, <laughs> should have had about three red cards. But uh, in fairness, Leinster have played the referee. The referee has been consistent. Well, he's to change his shorts. It's broken. <laughs> just back to the line. Uh, his shorts just uh, the strap has gone on them. I'll tell him the full. He goes, 35 years of age now, Mavani Bozia. Two many more years left in the tank, particularly for uh, an open side flanker. Come centre, he has played as well, of course. Torres. First man, leave it! Still no sign of uh, James Ryan. Penalty La Rochelle now. He was on the ball and he couldn't get it. Can they work their way into a scoring Sorry, position for him? Couldn't get it. Bozia. Getting over the ball, look at him, straight over, what a position. He's almost on his honkers, isn't he, when he's got <laughs> hold of the ball. Ron Rogar loves that one. I think if the players were half as fired up as Ron Rogar seems to be in the box, they'd be playing a lot better. It'd be an interesting change in room at half-time, I'd say. Approaching 34 minutes gone. Raymond Rule just in the front of the line out. La Rochelle left winger. Clean take again. Interesting from the line out as well that uh, O'Gara left out their top three line out performances in the Heineken Cup this season. They're all on the bench. Release. Not forward. Ball is over, and Ring Rose swings the boot at it and gets it away over halfway, over the 10, and Gibson Park, the lone blue jersey, chasing this one down. Dulan. That's to kick it into space. James Lowe is waiting for it, loads of time. It's uh, not a particularly well-executed kick. Liberty play. Astoy. Good. Tackled by Lowe, who just about made contact on time. Launched up by Henshaw. After this one, Hugo Keenan. Clean take, care Barlow. Marichal trying to get something going here. Botia. Last feet. Right Out it goes. Short pass. Wardy. Back for care Barlow. Astoy, little chip over the top. For Soutani to chase. Soutani came off his leg. Play on, it's off the knee. No knock. And play on, says uh, Jakob Pepper. Loose ball. It's been kicked through. Boudon. Can he control it? Boudon against Keenan. The fullback gets there. So go like. But Pierre go Boudon. Line, almost. No, it's off the knee. Off getting the knee. through. Already checked. Already checked. Oh. Off the knee. Boudon go finds line, himself in the position. He hasn't really been in the match, no has he? On that one comes leg. off the knees. Play on. And then the speculative offload here. doesn't go to hand. He hacks it on, hacks it on again, left foot, right foot. <laughs> and he nearly gets over for the try. In hindsight, he might have been better falling on that ball and waiting for the support. That, that was the pass from Sheehan. He just uh, tried to get the pass away. And Bouton almost taking full advantage. Hugo Keenan saving Leinster's blushes. Here's Aldrich, tackle, attempt, not help. From Ring Rose, he did enough to slow him down. Don't trap him, there's the ball. La Rochelle, the how they could use a score before half time. Slow ball yet again, though, you really slow. Astoy in behind. Better, Priest that. Dragged down by Jimmy O'Brien, there for Kerr Barlow. Bugar eats. Plenty of yellow jerseys both sides, his Raymond Rule. Oh, wow. Try, Hero. 
in France last year in the final. Here's Skelton. On they go. Better from La Rochelle. Leinster defence being tested here. Astoy. Antonio. Quick ball rule again. He's hit it's hard and hit low. Straight okay. over the top, Dante. And now to try and rescue possession. They've managed to keep it. Bulgarit again. Yep. And straight into Burn and still the hooker. Powerful carry. Ninth phase coming up. Skelton tries the offload to Lades. Backwards. Ball went backwards. Botia. Drag to the ground. Ball's up. There's the ball, lost me. The play. All treats. Carvalho again. Wardy this time. Out it goes. There's room on the left here. They get the short pass to Jenny. Ulupano Suchini, the 29 year old outside centre, gets La Rochelle second try. I tell you what, they are fighting back here at the Aviva Stadium and they have closed the gap. What a try it was as well. Everybody involved, really accurate at the break time. Big Will Skelton on the other side. We'll see this lovely offload again, the late. And he steps back in the support and then they recycle the ball, come and come again. And a lovely line. See, Denny, thank you very much. I'll have that. Q, they're back in the game at last. Well, I tell you, oh lost backwards initially. That's what La Rochelle, if you had forgotten what they are capable of, home fans silenced and the away supporters on their feet, Sutany crossing. 90 seconds, the end of the first half. Astoy will knock this one over. 23 14. And Roman O'Gara will be a little bit happier going into half time. Beautiful pass from Hastoy, nobody at home to cover Sutani. Easy as you like for the outside centre. To see the Leinster players, they know it's nearly in the half-time mark. Just Dander and ambling back to the halfway line. They'll want to kick this off. And Dulan or Kerr Barlow just to knock it out and run back down the into the changing rooms. Raymond Rule takes the restart. And a bit of pressure from O'Brien. Last minute now. James Ryan is HIA's permanent, so Jason Jenkins no will hands. play the rest of the match. It's a big loss for Leinster given the form of James Ryan. And the leadership he brings to the pack. And indeed, leave it, leave it. That's a piece of line out. And use it. Kerr Barlow, height on this one. It's going to drop. It's taken as well. It's got her from the restart. There's room on the right here. Astoy. Then serve two in the backfield. One of them is Ross Byrne. And here he is. Ten seconds to go. Just returns the kick. He's doing once again. Going to chase this one himself. Not a bad kick. He's going to get there, you know. Couldn't get up, though. James Lowe. And forwards, okay, sorry, goes to Forey, that should be the last, the last act time. of the first half. Well, the whistle goes from Jakob Pepper. What an entertaining first half in this Heineken Cup final. Five tries in total. Leinster started like a train. Dan Sheehan and Jimmy O'Brien scoring two tries early on. Sheehan out of the third before. La Rochelle struck back to Jonathan Dante. And then Soutini to answer two penalties from Ross Byrne. It's been action-packed. There's been plenty from both teams to think about going into the break. It's Leinster, though, who will take a lead into half-time. Half-time score at the Aviva in this Heineken Cup final. Leinster 23, La Rochelle 14.
backwards. No more! No! Backwards. No more! No! Backwards. No more! No! No more! No! Back it up. Both teams down. Back it up. Both teams down. Back it up. Both teams down.
Welcome back for the second half as uh, both teams take their place on the pitch. Leinster 23 points to 14 to the good, but to La Rochelle finishing with the try from Soutani to leave uh, plenty, I'm sure, for Ron Rogara and his coaching team to ponder. I mean, if you're in the La Rochelle dressing room, first of all, Stephen Ferris, cut, cut out the penalties, cut out the mistakes, stop giving Leinster opportunities when it isn't necessary, maybe. Yeah, it's a small, the small things. Again, line success, 26 carries, Leinster 13 metres made is way more than Leinster as well. Just the silly penalties, giving Leinster really easy field position, and we know how dangerous Leinster are when they strike in the opposition 22, like La Rochelle, of course. The quick ball, this Leinster side are so clinical. Let's see what the opening 10 minutes of this half throws. Hugh. Expect these La Rochelle boys to be fired up after a good old chat with Ronan, would you say? Absolutely. Let's see if they can respond then and how Leinster deal with whatever is to come. Clean take again from the restart from Caelan Doris. Lost Jason Jenkins in at the back there just to protect the ball. If you missed the first half, James Ryan went off midway through it and he's having a fantastic game for HIA. Jenkins came back in. To that, inside to Aldrich. He really doesn't leave on your off, does he? <laughs> you hear that contact from up in the commentary box rule. And ball out to Ronan Sazi. Astoy lost it, backwards. went backwards though. And he did reason well to recover. Madrid again, handling off one. Not on! Skelton offload to Antonio. Dante gives it Flas. Bergerit. Brings play almost to the halfway line. Say they not. Gibson Park is going to leave this for James Lowe. Safe pair of hands by the winger. to be a tactic though from La Rochelle that play around the halfway Lost line try and suck the energy out of Leinster here who will might go into their shells a bit in the second half and here. try and hold on to the lead I'm sure that's what La Rochelle are hoping for anyway nice step from Dulan <laughs> Robbie Henshaw completely fat footed Kerr Barlow look at the full back Astoy little jink Oh, the pass, Sujani takes it, and sliced through the midfield. Sujani trying to round Gibson Park, almost got through. Oh, what a run that was, there for Leeds. Now, out it goes, Aldrete, they're queuing up on left-hand side. Leinster offside, and it's against Ross Maloney. Penalty advantage, La Rochelle slicing through the midfield, looking to start the second half, like Leinster started the opening match with a try. <laughs> Penalty. What a run by Soutani. What a run by Soutani. Yeah. Yes, he juggled the ball. But as you rightly said, in the first half, just hold on to Maybe the possession. They just don't get They're going to cause you problems all over the pitch. Geez, they look dangerous. And Leinster might actually be happy enough to hand over three points. It could easily have been seven. Very easily. Gibson Park doing just enough. And Olofano Soutani. It's going to be a gift of a three points for Antoine Astoy. The atmosphere does feel like it's even just with that break. It's changed a little bit. All the La Rochelle fans to our right. In full voice now. And all of a sudden, the gap is six, and all of a sudden, it's a one score game. Here was the break, as you say, he just juggled with it. Almost lost it there, but then the gap opens up. Brian came across, but Gibson Park, well, he just checked the run, and O'Brien it was, Hugo Keenan, who just made that uh, shoelace tackle. Just to show the pace at Suteni there. Ross Byrne couldn't get anywhere near him. Three starts, Aldrich again. Rochelle, first points in the second half. Oh. 
Not forward. Leinster scrum. Exactly what they needed. That's exactly it. The momentum still swinging towards La Rochelle here. Just being competitive. It's coming. So Ty Furlong is going off, and Alan Toa is coming in in his place. So tight head switch for Leinster. First substitute in the second half. Bad guy to bring on. 17 starts for Leinster this season. Played in 21 games. A lot of game time under his belt. Battle hardened for sure. Yeah, he's been so important for Leinster, hasn't he? In Europe. Too much movement. And in the URC where he's had the majority of his starts, but he's going to play almost the entire the second half here now. That's the confidence that they have. Nice down. Nice and square. A chance to have a look Nine. at this scrum. You'd imagine La Rochelle are going to try and put as much pressure as possible on here. Yeah, definitely. Close. Go after them a little Five. bit. Lancer have to try and lock Six. it down. Porter give away a penalty in the first half. It's at the back with Conan. Penalty advantage. Conan drive backwards on the blind side, didn't kick ahead now. Gibson Park after it, so to Kerr Barlow with the back for the penalty. And you just wonder here now, do Leinster try and cancel out that three points with a shot at goal, or do they go for the jugular and go into the corner? Yeah, it's six it points at the minute now. Why not try and stretch it out to that nine again? Yeah, yeah. shot called. It's probably the right decision. It's yeah. cup final rugby. Cup final rugby. Jerry touched on it pre-match. Well, on offer. Try and knock them over. Interesting there, that scrum. No, Seemed they just crab sideways. No clear dominance. Lancer dominance. I was listening to a, a news talk interview with Dan Levy this week, and uh, he's, he's gone into to business uh, producing whiskey, of all things. Uh, we give it a plug there on whiskey. But anyway, look, I guess... He must have the, sent you a bottle, you. Not yet, but he better after this. The genesis of what he was saying was about this guy here. He went to school with Ross Byrne. It was a, a year behind him in school. And he said he has not changed temperament from a 17-year-old kid playing Senior Cup rugby St. Michael's to how he is now. Cam under pressure. We get to see that now because Johnny Sexton's injured. He's had a sustained run. We see it every week for Leinster. But we didn't see it so much for Ireland, did we? couple of big losses. I think he started a couple of the England games, especially before the, the Rugby World Cup, when they went down in Twickenham by a heavy score, and, and then he disappeared. But it's the same temperament, whether it's club probably a number of years ago, Leinster are in the green of Ireland, and he's a good man to call upon. There you go. That's why. That's exactly why. Crucial three points, two score game as his brother Harry claps on. That's the start we wanted to the second half. Both teams hammer and tong. The physicality at the breakdown. Just scrolling through social media at half time, and everybody at home are absolutely loving this. So tense as well here in the Aviva. Jack Conan has taken every single restart. Lost it. Taken back. Ball's taken back in. Can't go straight to touch. It was taken back in from just outside the 22. So Gibson Park is going to need chasers here. Again, he went to height, he gets in that ball. Now it's flirting with the touchline. That should be out on the full. It's a bad mistake, but it's going to happen. Pepper yes, called it. He said ball taken back in. It's clear instructions from the referee. In yeah, it's clear instructions. Here. It pretty loud. It's taken back. It's just a mistake. Wasn't under that much pressure around it. Yep. The breakdown. Just overcooked it ever so slightly. Now the giants of La Rochelle. Antonio Skelton. Look at the size of those men. Oh, they are giants, aren't they? Giants. Leinster fans trying to make life difficult for Bugger each. Goes to the front, keeps it simple, taken by Sazi. And they set them all again back with their hooker. Got to stay bound. Now Kerr Barlow is going to use it. Dante, battering ram, straight into contact. Here's Botia. Oh, that's a monstrous hit from the Fijian open side, but hands on the ground Stay afterwards. Up. It was Dan Sheen who made the tackle. It's the same as the jackal. You gave him that spike Robbie because Henshaw on the floor. You gave can't. away the penalty, though, hands on the ground. Sheen and Henshaw lining body up. 
He came round the corner at such pace, didn't he? Quite heron onto the ball, but he was met right on the gain line too. Absolutely worldies of, ta of a tackle. We'll see it again. Was on the edge of you, Don. You can't get on your hands just like a jacket to win that. Which is Robbie Henshaw, hands point. on the ground, crabbing through the breakdown. That was a thump. Henshaw coming through, maybe just a bit of adrenal pumping through the veins. and Should be three points back for our shot. Second penalty of the game, his fourth successful kick of the match. 50 minutes played, six points to gap. Herbie Lancer fan up around the Aviva. First 20 minutes, 17 0 up. Everything was dandy, wasn't it? The La Rochelle come back, and Bernard Jackman alluded to it when you went to him earlier. Now, this team won't die. So, Brice Dulan looks to find touch. Let's go down to Bernard Jackman for the first time in the second half. La Rochelle have come out fighting, Bernard. They have come out fighting, and they're starting to get, I suppose, energy from Leinster kicking long. And if you kick long to Brees Doolan, his natural instinct is to bring it back to you. He's got great footwork, and once they get into that counter-attack shape, they're starting to ask questions. And Hastoy, the 10, he's a young player at this level. Number. He kicks more than any other 10 in this competition, but a lot of variety of his kicks. And I feel Leinster are respecting that chip space a little bit too much, and they're second-guessing themselves, and that led to that opportunity for Satini. So Leinster need to uh, let him kick it, but make sure you protect your front line. Protect the front line. It's blocked down. Ross Burnabit slow to react. Almost picked off the ground there by Sazi, but it's gone into touch on the far side. La Rochelle applying the pressure yeah. that we saw Leinster apply in the first half, yeah, and they good. almost got returned for their investment there. And that's definitely been a message. It's got to put more pressure on whether it's Ross Byrne, James Lowe off the left foot, and Sazi, who's played over 300 times for La Rochelle. So it's actually been at the club a long time. He nearly regathers it. Just a little knock on. Sazi goes off. Thomas Lavo, 24 line out takes. I mentioned the three top line out takes for La Rochelle in Europe this season, all it's, on the bench. Here's one of them, it's Thomas Lavo. It should be a lot of show line out ball. He'll be a target. Whenever they not throw throw in the line the it's the ball. Yeah, you just heard the referee there. The crowd won't be happy with this decision. Come off the head. And then we're out of play for by Lensterman. Sounds like that. Yeah, you can hear the boo starting to ring around now. Um, Clean take from Skelton. La Rochelle trying to get forced Leinster what? back from the driving mall. Carbarlo happy to let the hooker continue to carry. Stay there! Gotta be careful here though because Coleman's wrapped himself in a really awkward position here and he's making life difficult. Let's come back with Aldrich. Down my goal. Picked by the number eight. Tackled by Jenkins. The ball's going to lose Batia. He had to be quick. Slow coming back, they work the blind side. Aldrich, John T. Tackled by Conan. Oh, Sheehan's over the ball. Sheehan has hands on it. And Sheehan has stolen a brilliant bit of possession for Leinster. That is fantastic work by the hooker. Just when it looked like La Rochelle were getting ready to strike for the line. That's where he shows his international pedigree. He's 17 caps for his country, but that's a, a moment of brilliance there. By the Lencer hooker, and what a better clearing kick as well. Psychologically, that's a big dent in the La Rochelle mindset. Watch him here, bang. He's like a vice grip on that ball. He's had some game, hasn't he? A couple of tries in the first half, making tackles in the wide channels. So Leinster get a bit of reprieve, bring play almost to the halfway line. La Rochelle still with the possession. First 12 minutes has flown by in the second half. What a contest this is. One to save her. Hastoy, Botia. Again, it's Henshaw meets him. And again, Henshaw puts him down. Now they reverse it. Left-hand side. Quick ball from Sutanese. Skelton gets it out to Aldrich. But Leinster 
making those aggressive tackles and go on the ground for Carabarlo. War deep. Release! Last thing. Rule. Spreads it wide. Nowhere for Boudin to go, except maybe into touch. He managed to get it away. I don't know quite how he got that ball back, but he did. Under enormous pressure. Here's the pick from Skelton. Again, it's Sheehan makes the tackle. With a little bit of help from Ross Maloney. La Rochelle still have it. Antonio behind. Little chip from Hastoy. Where's that bounce going to go? Straight into the arms of Robbie Henshaw, who read the kick. No on his first to react. Okay, leave him, 15, leave him. Leave. No, 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 no. Back it goes. Ross Byrne says, let's play outside of her own half. Hastoy. Jimmy O'Brien's call for this, he's got to come for it. Oh, that's a really good take. That's Hugo Keenan, in fact, was it? It was. Oh. No mistake, Hugo Keenan takes the high ball. Here's Porter. No, he stepped off. James Lowe. Big left boot again. Too much on it. Take it back. Couple of mistakes, Hugh. Out on the full once again. There's Gibson Park. A few minutes ago, now James Lowe. Leinster haven't actually played with ball in hand that much, and they, they just want to get the territory and play in the, up on the other end of the pitch. A brilliant take from Hugo Keenan. Just a bit of a slice by James Lowe. Yellow flags now in full view at the Aviva Stadium. La Rochelle fans making their voice heard. Leinster fans trying to respond, it's a crucial period in the game 25 minutes to go Marichal hunting another score here Carvalho going to use it, Botia short pass to Dante pretty well marshalled by Josh van der Freer quick ball again, out it goes Soutini first tackle attempt missed though by Robbie Henshaw, slow to get back on the ground I think he's injured himself in the process and Leinster temporarily down to 14, unless he can get back now, he's back on his feet. Aldrich ripped away. Now, James Lowe, bit of room in behind. He sliced it off the outside of the boot. Again, Leinster just look a little bit frazzled at the moment. Yeah, frazzled. Just need a bit of direction. Hesitant there, wasn't he? James Lowe, he just needed to send it long straight away, and it would have been a, a chase. Two or three Leinster players, Jack Conan at the minute. Look at him trying to get all the boys in. One of the more experienced players in this Leinster side. Bit of a talking to. Robbie Henshaw, you're right. He took a bit of a clatter in the midfield. He's receiving a bit of attention. We do have Charlie Natai and Kieran Frawley on the bench, depending on who they need. But I mean, Natai would be a natural fit. He's played most of his rugby at inside centre, so it'd be a like for like replacement. Still, you don't want to, to lose Robbie Henshaw if you can avoid it. Middleton. Not the La Rochelle players as well, just uh, receiving a, a bit of attention. Uh, Bernard Jackman, let's go back to you here. Uh, Leinster, uh, for the first time in the game, just look a little bit rattled out there. Composure, calm heads needed, you feel? Yeah, and, uh, weirdly, it's their kicking game that's letting them down. You know, high-profile errors from James Lowe. Uh, Gibson Park when, Park, when he kicked out in the full, that one was sliced by by James Lowe off a great turnover defensively they're actually in, in, a, in a reasonable position starting to put pressure to break down we saw Dan Sheen getting that big turnover near our own line using the touchline as an extra defender and look reasonably comfortable but everyone talks about Leinc Leinster's Irish internationals and obviously they're full of them the whole squad is full of them but real realistically it's going to come down to their three non-Irish players who are going to be on the field to finish this game Jason Jenkins Michael Alatoa and Charlie Natai they've been brought in to help Leinster get over the line and win a European Cup and all three are going to be on the field for the last 25 minutes and they're going to be needed because La Rochelle are throwing everything at Leinster now and they will believe that if you get in Leinster's heads given what's happened over the last two uh, two years they can score late in the game so uh, from a Ron O'Gara point of view they're dominating territory at the moment as well because as I said Leinster just haven't got their kicking game as accurate as it has been all season and they're starting to show a little bit of frustration and, and looking a little bit flustered so Cam has this break in play, hopefully we'll give him a chance to get himself back 
um, in sync like they were in the first 20 minutes. But at the moment, if you're in the Glenster coaching box, you'd be a little bit nervous. Yeah, you would. Uh, and it's an interesting point that maybe this break has come at exactly the right time for Leinster. It'd be interesting to see how both teams respond to this. Yeah, I could say the same thing for La Rochelle, mind you. Will Skelton giving us numbers. Park a bit of a break. They can reset and go again. Robbie Henshaw has uh, managed to survive that uh, knock that he took, so he's still on the pitch. Newbury throws again. The line out functions perfectly for La Rochelle. And Leinster trying to contain them all here. That pack just starting to get on top of your field. The yellow jerseys, the power, the muscle, the size, and the technique paying off well inside Leinster's 22. Dangerous position. And La Rochelle still creaking forward here. Don't want to lose that ball and run into too many blue jerseys. If they can't use it, they'll lose it. And look at Pepper. He's hit the front player. He's fine. Listen to that cry. The ball was held up. Porter's the last man off the ground. He's getting the pats on the back. It looks for all money that La Rochelle were going to get a penalty. It just splinters off. We'll see it again. Lancer Park, Jason Jenkins can't get his hands on the ball. A little, oh, a little bit of truck and trailer there. He's only got his hands on his shorts, but he gets away with it. But after that, La Rochelle don't use the ball. La, uh, Lancer somehow, the player somehow, by number three, so he can play from there. Let's go. Turning into a mall. All in. Josh van der Fleer for me there. Just sticks in. in. Helps his team out. Alton to land there, just a near shot. I'm sure we're going to see him at some stage. Former Connacht. And Ireland second row. Yeah, he looked to come on and get <laughs> on the trophy, but long way to go still. Leinster absorbing the pressure. I'm sure would just love to get out of their own 22, get out of their own half and play inside La Rochelle territory. Let's see what the racing strategy is like here. Five. Feels like it's the Six. last three or four minutes of the game here, doesn't it? It's 23 minutes in the clock. Yeah. So that's a long way to go. A lot of movement. It's a lot of movement. Just ability. Just his ability. And, and you think about the amount of cards then, but you're, you're still to be played for both early. teams. Yeah. So you've got Ryan Baird on the bench, you mentioned Keen Healy, Ronan Keller Mike as well. Charlie Natsai, Luke McGrath, and then you look at La Rochelle, Le Piac, they've got Georges Henri Colomb, Remy Bordeaux, Alton Delan, as I mentioned, Jules Favre. Still many twists to come. Not a bad few lads Keep to have the on the bench, is it? Run. Yeah. Wait, wait. Run. Mara should have 16 players back from last year's final in March 23. Run. Leinster have 20. Five. Set. The back coming by snow time. Pressure from Per Barlow. Did well the scrum half. Botti is over it. Told to leave it. Lost it. And now James Lowe is dropping deep. Lost by right. Got to get the right contact on this one. And now Gibson Park will assume the responsibility no, himself. No, no, it's fine. That's exactly what he does do. Dylan Lades. Going to do that. Grace Dulan trying to get through the tackle. Aldrich. Tackled by Doris. He's taken on a lot of responsibility, Aldri. Skelton in behind, Hastoy. Lades, oh, Dante, it's gone forward. Leinster fans cheer, Strong no Rochelle up. players put their hands on their head. Leinster defence holding out. He's run out of a bit of, bit of room out. on the short side, the ball pulled back, a three on two, but it's pretty Number difficult eight. to execute with the touch line only a couple That's of metres two. away. So Ryan Baird is in, which means he'll go to six. Jack Connor's going off, and it'll be Caelan Doris back to what we still think is his best position at number eight. Two substitutes in the front row for La Rochelle, Joel Scrabby, and Georges Henri Colomb. But listen to the reception for Jack Conan. Okay. Immense, especially in the first half. Interesting Caelan Doris. Six games at number eight, one at number seven, and four at number six for Leinster. This season, many people think that he's a, he's the, one of the best number eights in world rugby. Well, he's got 20 minutes here to show everybody that. Four. 
Fresh legs in the front row, either side of the hooker for La Rochelle. Let's see how they get on here. Straight into the scrum. At the back of Doris. Good tackle from Bottier. Lost it! Didn't give him any room. Lamo! Into trying to protect the ball. Leave him! Leave him! James Lowe standing deep. And camped inside and the road, 22 for the last 10 minutes or thereabouts. Better strike from Gibson Park. Now pressure from Jimmy O'Brien. And Doolan has done really well. Back inside to Lades. Tackle from Alan Atoa, and that was a good one. Hi there. Kerr Barlow. Stoy, Dante. First man. Leave the goal. Venser have hands on it, and they've stolen it. Ring rose. Nowhere to go but straight, doesn't want to get isolated. Dante over the ball. And it looks like he's on his feet. Venser get just enough bodies there. Back in the pocket. Burn. Spots Stop. a gap in the middle. Cross comes through that. Hugo Keenan's after him. And Dulan happy to find touch in the middle of the pitch. 20 minutes to go, Stephen Ferris. Oh, it's cracker, isn't it? It's an absolute belter of a match. Turnovers, Robbie Henshaw over the ball. We thought Bonia had, or Dante, excuse me, had gotten a turnover. But look at that technique, right on it. And the referee in fairness is just letting it flow, isn't he? Another breathtaking passage of play. Stop. Jameson gives some park and Robbie Henshaw. Robbie Henshaw, I think that's his uh, day up. Charlie Natai is yeah, stripped off and ready to come on on the bench. And the New Zealander replaces the Irish centre. He's got uh, 20 minutes to play it for us match. Robbie Henshaw again, himself and Ring Rose have had a lot to think about today. He's putting in a lot of big hits to the best. Yeah, the line speed's been really impressive. They haven't necessarily stopped their man in his tracks every hit, but... Numbers! Oh, just leading that line by example. Robbie Henshaw's had a, okay, a few injuries this season. Can't get a run of games, but I'll tell you what, that's an impressive 60 okay, minutes. Go back. I'll control the space. Time to adjust. Happy? Okay. Will Skelton full of chat in the line out. Ryan Baird pays him no heat. Josh van der Fleer gives a beautiful pass. Doris goes away. This is where we're going to see the best of Kevin Doris, switching to number eight. High ball, Raymond Rue is underneath it. Oh, he's lost it. Went backwards, uh, penalty. Contact in the air. He had to be brave, Raymond Rue, Jimmy O'Brien. Well, he went up for the ball, he's saying, oh, I'm just trying to compete for the ball, but uh, Jakob Pepper says there was contact, and the winger gets the penalty. Good play by Rue, under serious pressure. What a line from Keelan Doris off the line out there. Set the platform, and Nagtai straight off the bench. An unbelievable clean from the inside to free the ball up. Just a small nudge, we'll see. Oh, geez, there's not much in that, is there? Not much in that at all. Yeah, it looks a bit harsh, doesn't it? You can understand why he's questioning the decision, but uh, La Rochelle had the line out. Quick ball for Hastoy, down to you once again. Release! Charlie Nato, I'm sure, was uh, hoping by the time he got onto the pitch today that Jonathan Dante might have been hauled ashore, but no sign of him going anywhere. Kerr Barlow, Aldrich, Hastoy again. He's been brilliant in the second half. Out to rule. Almost at the Leinster 22. La Rochelle back inside the Leinster half where they have spent the majority of this second half. Leinster's defence being tested all the time. Almost an intercept, ball goes wide. Skelton tackled by low. By on, first man. Ball's gone loose and it's gone forward. And Leicester have hands on it again. Away goal! There's the ball. There's the ball. Don't milk it. The ball's there. I just feel though, you know, how long can Leicester keep repelling this La Rochelle attack? Again, the only option just to kick it clear. And Dula to try and run it back. Now, the 50-22 here is on. I don't think he's going to get the bounce now, and Gibson Park is perfectly placed. It's 
slices it outside of the boot into touch. La Rochelle have possession again. We keep hearing, and you know as much as any of those players out there, Stephen Ferris, it is so much more tiring to defend the whole time, and Leinster are breathing heavy right now. Yeah, they are. Yeah, got breathing please. very heavy. If Will Skelton could have gotten that ball away, it would have been a potential what? line break up the right-hand side, but not high. Straight off the bench, making an impact. But it's all, it's like, here we go again. Kick down, poor clearance from Leinster. Another opportunity for La Rochelle. Surely they're going to make one of these count. Somebody has to take control of this game from a Leinster point of view. They can't keep those poor exits, if you like, giving La Rochelle possession back and getting pinned inside their own half with possession to the French side. Stay there, one. Stay there. If you give this team, if you keep giving them ball, they will score eventually. We're going to drive on here. Borgarito was a truck and shot, it was. Wow. Nothing on my a side. mistake. George Henri Colomb looks on. But that was uh, on my clear side. and obvious and straight in front of Jakob Pepper. My side, no he's got to oh, yeah. take the responsibility there exactly. and break off. Down by goal, no collapse. How many times do we see Dan Sheehan, his opposite man, break off and, and then the lads come flying in behind him to clear the, the next okay. breakdown? Okay. That's just silly. Maybe he thinks there's a, another couple of guys in front of him, but again, those small, fine okay. margins. Closer. Scrum, Leinster ball. Number six. Another substitution. Number it's six. Pierre Boudon who's going off. And it's Alton Talan, former Connacht second row, is in, in his place. Big moment for him. It's a huge moment. Versatile pen, the back row, pen, the second row. What a stalwart for Connacht rugby. I'm sure everybody done in Connacht. Galway. Love to see that guy go well today. Yeah. Bugarit going off as well, no surprise. Maybe that was just a, a tired brain and body. When he gets possession away, Quinton Lepiak comes in, the 28 year old former France, under 20 international. But, uh, you're there, you're there. Nothing doing as far as the senior ranks have been concerned over the last few there. years. Scrum in the game. Lepiak's okay, okay. a good replacement to have. Played a lot of games this season. Started a lot of games. 20 out of the 25 he's played in. Bit of experience as well. Of a scrum Moving the both ways. It's not steady. It's not steady. Both both backs contributing. Keep it all the closer. Too much weight. Combine. Combine. And, the, and, and then post that. Beta from you. The referee given the, the front rows. Andrew Porter, Dan Sheehan. Just a bit of information you go there. Down, you got a feed. Well, as you say, it's very, very scrappy. Liam slowed down just a little bit, and maybe needed that you. Yeah, I guess it, you know the pace was such that it was always going to take its toll at some stage. And when you have tired bodies out there as well, mistakes will happen. Yes. Gaps will open up that weren't there in the previous 60 minutes or so. Which side can take advantage? This is the crucial point in the game. Converted try with Pat Marshall in front. Leinster cannot get out of their own half or love nor money in the second Both half, and they've lost the ball again. Massive Please. scrum by the defending champions. Leave it! Aldrich, another pick, another charge. Leinster strangling to get back. Skelton again, tackled by van der Fleer. Leave it! Oh, it's hands on the ground, it's a penalty, and a chance for Kerbaro. Kerbaro through. La Rochelle so dangerous, big tackle goes in from that time, but we go back for the penalty. It's straight in front of the post. Hands on the ground, past the ball, according to Jaco Pepper. It's a handy three points here. Try saving tackle by Naitai. Absolutely unbelievable work rate. I think it was Keelan Doris. Look at the pressure coming through at the scrum. No, no, yeah, that one end next to the ball, and then you wait for the ball. I'm done. Sklavi seems to have Al Alato in his pocket. 
He drove him straight up. That looked very harsh again on Kenny Doris. His hands were on the ball. Okay. Going back to last year's final as well. And this decision again, similar kind of time as well. Wayne Barnes, Doris still got the penalty anyway. Look. Oh. But sometimes these go with you. When you've got the pressure, you've got you're deep in their territory We've for what well, feels no like the whole of the second half. Play. As a player that's bent, so we give you the penalty area. But go for the corner here. Oh, it's a huge call here. A huge a call. Lot of call. And the momentum is with La Rochelle. They've been much the better team in the second half. Can, it, can they make that pay by crossing the Leinster try line once again? But they feel they have them on the rack. They feel they've got them rattled. They're going to go after them here. No doubt, go back to their mall. Cologne, one of the biggest men in the La Rochelle team, is now on the pitch. Delan as well. Roman Kelleher, on in place of John Sheehan. La Rochelle set them all at the back with Le Piac. Oh, going That's down. Penalty. Penalty. Penalty still going forward. Danger for Leinster here. Five metres out, penalty advantage. It's a free shot for La Rochelle. Dropped. Yeah. It's at the beginning. It's at the beginning. It's not there. But, well, if they turn down the last shot of goal, you'd imagine it to go straight back into the corner here. The only question marks about this Leinster side over the last three or four seasons, when they come against a team with huge power and physicality, scrum dominance, mall dominance, can they take yeah. it to them? Can they get the better of them? We're just about to find out, I think, here, Duke. For all La Rochelle's dominant possession territory in the second half, they've been reduced to just two penalties. Leinster in a huddle there, they're having a word with themselves, somebody needs to stand up, Stephen Ferris, and say, we have to get out of our own half. Yeah, they have to. There needs to be a, a game change in hit, there needs to be a turnover, or a mistake from La Rochelle, but interesting, La Rochelle seemed to go to Will Skelton in the line out. He's a great man to build them all around. That's him again. Same again, Skelton trying to transfer to Alton Delan at the back. Audrey takes it off him, and now they set them all, and now Leinster trying to get bodies around. La Rochelle creaking forward, where's the ball? A sea of bodies on the ground. Can they get it to the back here? There's the ball. Just about retain it. Play advantage. Advantage again, it's another penalty conceded. How long before we see yellow cards? Out it goes. Twisting and turning, Sclavi dragged to the ground. Here's George Henri Cologne, the big man, number 18 on his back, almost at the line. Josh van der Fleer put everything he had into that tackle. There with Aldrich. Aldrich almost gets there himself. A pile of bodies, it's held up, we go back to the penalty. And Lens are going to be spoken to here. It's two different penalties, but it's in the zone, no more at more. Okay. Definite infringement, I've warned them now. I just wonder, Hugh, we haven't spoken about it for maybe half an hour, but the loss of James Ryan in this Leinster side, mall defence, the impact that he has, he's a huge man as well. But Jason Jenkins, he started against Munster there, got a good few minutes under his belt, but it's that leadership in moments like this that you maybe miss. Well, if La Rochelle write a book about this match, they might call it 40 minutes inside Leinster 22. <laughs> but will they have anything to show for it? Because they have battered and battered, and so far Leinster have held them out. Can they keep doing it? It's just relentless pressure by the defending champions from France. Le Piac! Le Piac! Almost at the line. New advantage being played. Leinster flirting with yellow cards. Ball there, the pick from Lavo. Little pass. At 16, you Taken by Bordeaux. Surely Yako Pepper is going to have to reach for a card at some stage if Lenser keep infringing. Short pass again. Once again, the tackle have to be made. La Rochelle, they got numbers on the left hand side here. They're going to keep it tight for the time being. John Henry Cologne! 
Can he get it down? George Henri Calam has scored a try for La Rochelle. The pressure has finally paid off. And Lenstrom might go down to 14 as well here. Let's have a look at the referee. It's Roland Kelleher. 16. It's going to go for the rest of the game. And the pendulum has swung in favour of La Rochelle. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. On the front left there. And then again, another infringement by 16. It's a yellow card. Ronan Keller, he's just come on fresh. Again, a fresh man is now going to be missing. Until the end of the game, 71st minute, he's gone. That's his final over with. That's Cologne. He just picks and goes a little sharp dart, and he gets himself in. Andrea. Yes. What a game, you. What, what a oh, game. What a game. Leinster now, this is going to... Yeah, they're yeah, going to have to reach more, down right. deep and try and find something from somewhere to get back up. If this one goes over, La Rochelle will hit the front for the first time in the game. And much like last year, they've bided their time. And is it perfect timing? It might well be. You've got to give credit to La Rochelle for fighting their way back into this game. But it's Leinster's exits, picking out on the full a couple of times. Just applying pressure onto themselves. And they've almost stopped playing a bit as well, haven't they? Trying to hold on to that lead that they managed to rack up. Ryan Baird leading the charge with a brilliant take from Alton Talan, of all people. Back what there. a brilliant take and charging run. Stay there. Back in the pockets, Jula. It's based down the centre of the field now. This is where Leinster needs to come up with something. They've got time, but they're down to 14. And they're down by a single point, Hugo Keenan. He's barely had it. any time no, inside La Rochelle's 22 with ball. It's all been kicked down, relieving pressure, attempting to relieve territory. Well out, right? Ross Byrne puts one up, Charlie Natoy, ring rolls after it. This is a really good kick, it's going to test. Bruce do that. Release, hands away! Just seeing Porter carry the ball into contact. It's only his third carry of the game. Leave it! Usually when he's wearing a green shirt of Ireland, he's in the double figures. It Outside. just shows you how Outside. much ball Irish Hell have had, especially in this second half. There's a clearing kick. It's going to set for Byrne. Passing field to Keenan. He's got a few yellow jerseys in front of him. Takes the tackle. Gibson Park. Out to Porter. Behind to Byrne. Natai. Nowhere to go, really. Doesn't want to get held up here. Release! Away! Away! There's the ball. It's young ball. There's the ball. Not the tackle, Burn. it's the carrier. Kaelin Doris, was that high? No question that was high. No question that was high. I mean, John Dundon okay. is as physical as he can get, but uh, he made no attempt to go low there. It's high tackle. No attempt. Great call from the referee. Okay. Now, I wonder, does Ross Byrne fancy this? I'm going to have a look at it. Now, we're going to go TMO, let's check, but Ross Byrne is having a chat with his pack here. I wonder, does he fancy so this initial kick? initial view is it slipped up. Done. Here's your best angle, Jacko. Shoulder to the head. There is a lot of force through the body, but his shoulder does make contact with the head. Here we, here we go, go. here's your best angle for the shoulder contact. to the head. Well, it has to be yellow card. It has to be yellow card. Agreed, yeah. Absorbing tackle. So we go yellow. A lot of force through the body, but there is shoulder the head contact. Okay. The yellow. He's going down and he's under. I think they're very lucky. We've got it. We've got it. Yeah. There is shoulder to the head, but there is force going through the body, so there's many indirect. So Jonathan Dante, well that's as good as a red card because he's gone as well. So you've got Keller in the bin, you've got Dante in the bin. 14 against 14. How are your nerves, again. Ross Byrne? Has he called for a, a shot at goal? We haven't quite seen what the decision is yet. I think he's going to go into the corner. I think he's going to go into the corner. The, the pack's the standing around him. It's a long way out. It's a really it's hard one. Getting the correct mark. Yeah, it's probably the right decision. The right decision. I, I thought that could have been a red card, but it doesn't really matter. He's not going to feature in this game. All right, here we go. It has been 
a titanic tussle. It has been an epic game so far, and it's going right down to the wire. Leinster line out, La Rochelle 22. That's good holy, isn't it? And look who we have thrown in the line out once again, you. Josh van der Fleer to throw, no hooker. On the pitch, if they do go to scrums, they'll either have to bring in uh, Dan Sheehan or else Keane Healy will go back in and uh, pack down the front row. Ross, Bur Ross Maloney takes it. Here's Ross Byrne. Caelan Doris trying to find a, a hole in that uh, La Rochelle defence. There's none there. They work the left-hand side. Look at van der Fleer. Still plenty of running in the open side flanker. And what a shift he's put in. Leinster looking to keep this one tight now. Need support no for roll with Andrew five. Porter. You know, this is drop Peanut. goal territory. We go back to this stadium last week when Jack Crowley did it for Munster. But Leinster are thinking about a try here. And they're going to the right hand side. Ross Byrne doesn't want to lose the ball in contact. Big oh, yeah. hits to put him down. Alala Toa. Again, Leinster trying okay. to keep the ball recycled. How are your nerves? Porter. Chopped to the ground. Ross. Hugo Keenan. Once players on the left hand side. Out it goes. Charlie Natsai. One outside him. Still Natsai. Still Charlie Natsai on his feet, driving to the line. Just short. Needs to recycle no, the ball and get it back. Leinster still have it. Should be there for Gibson Park. This is it for Leinster. Four minutes left to go. Down by a point. They've barely had any territory inside Lower Shell 22 for the entire second half. Can they make this count? Jason Jenkins. The crowd roared them on. Caelan Doris has it at the back. This has to be it for Leinster. They'll never have a better chance. Here's Three and a half minutes. The pick at the back. Alalatoa. It's all about composure. And trying to find the gap. What a pick from Porter. Hands away, yellow. Marichelle told to leave it. Leinster slow to get back on their feet. Any gaps. Van der Fleer. Van der Fleer no way through. No! Leave it! Rochelle, bodies piling over. Gibson Park, they're going to go out to Ring Rose, lost his feet. Managed to hang on to it, it's gone forward. Oh, oh they've lost it. First man. Lost feet, back. Kerberlo, back in the pocket, trying to find any room here. Straight to James Lowe, he's going to charge straight back. James Lowe, into contact. Hit high, or hit in the square in the chest, I should say. Ryan Baird, back it goes to Gibson Park. Keenan this time. Leinster still have it, two and a half minutes on the clock. al al toa straightens the line. Gibson Park again, they've got to keep composure. Ross Burns and that up to Ryan Baird. Gibson Park goes left. Caelan Doris. No hard. What a finish. Ross Maloney. Leinster need points. Any points will do. Van der Fleer. No. Still hammering away. Told to leave it. Space on the left side. Keenan. <laughs> Player unconscious. Oh, catch your breath, catch your breath. Check our heart rate there, Stephen, 148 or so. <laughs> oh, what a finish this game. What a finish. And James Lowe running it back. Hastoy could not get it off the pitch. He almost tried a bit of a going? banana pressure on him, and he couldn't get it off the pitch. And then it just came back and back, and we're seeing that the stretcher's being called. We never like to see this, but... No. But right decision by the referee, yeah. Hugh, to stop the game there. It's George Henry Colombo who's down the try score. So look, let's catch our breath for a second. Bernard Jackman, two That's minutes it. to go. If I'm right in thinking because he stopped play, Leinster will have a scrum here. What do you see? What do you think is going to happen? You're coming to the wrong man if you want someone. I'm, I'm about <laughs> five metres away from where all the action has been. For them not to be able to get that ball off the field, it was a great turnover. Heroic defence from, from La Rochelle, but Leinster are throwing everything at him. Okay, Brilliant carry from, at from uh, Charlie Nazi, and every rook has been contested. At a maximum, it's so hard for a referee to, to make a decision here. The problem for Leinster is it will restart with a scrum, but their scrum has looked under pressure. And that's how La Rochelle got back into this game. They won a, they won a scrum turnover on Leinster ball. This is five yards out. 
they'll have to get Dan Sheen back on the field, obviously, for a scrum. Or maybe Keane Healy actually will take that role. I'm not sure. Joshua Nafir is still in the field, but this is massive. This is Leinster's game here. If Leinster can win the ball, I think they'll go towards the middle, and I think Ross Byrne will drop back in the pocket um, and go for it, because I don't think it's going to have to be something very obvious for Jack, Jack O'Paper to give a, a penalty, although he's looking at this clean out here and see what the action is. There'll be a problem here for Michael Alatoa, Hugh. You'll have a little better yeah, view than Alatoa, so Alatoa came in there with his shoulder in. and in the clean out. And he dropped his shoulder in there. That's what hey. they're looking at. Has to be high the head. Has to be high danger. High danger. Fr sure from a distance. Just make sure it's flush. I think he's in trouble. Bang. Flush. This is your best angle for the contact. Here we go. Yep. This is the player's legal on his feet over the ball. Touch shoulder. He comes from a distance. No, no attempt to wrap. Red. He's in trouble. Okay. And our number is? This number could be 18. 18. This could be it. I'll need number 18, please. No. 18, please. 18. He's gone. Amsterdam the play is legal 30. over the ball. You come from a distance, you tuck that shoulder. High level of danger. So no what is down to you, then? What's that, a low level no. of danger? There's no mitigation here. Hmm. Amsterdam to 13 against 14 of La Rochelle. It'll be a penalty from this. And that could be it. That could be a... It's always going to be a controversial match, but nobody wants to see that. A red card in the last few minutes of the game, and you know he's gone in, all guns blazing into that breakdown. I think why he's off the pitch is he tucks the arm. And Colum is sort of rising up out of the the rock, and he catches him on the head, but you can't tuck your arm like that. Johnny Sexton looking on. I'm sure they can't quite believe what's happened in the second half. It was all. Guns bearing in the first 20 minutes or so. It looked like Leinster could run riot, but then La Rochelle, it's an unbelievable heart and determination to drag themselves back into this position. Uh, it sure is. Two. We've got a great coaching group. Bruno Nagara again touched on all the players from okay, around no, the world that are in his squad. Back. They come together. No They're a close knit group. There's no they scrum fight hard for back. one another. But as well. They're a good rugby side, full of quality players. And they've dragged themselves back into this in the second half, and it's only been the last four or five minutes we've seen Leinster actually play a bit of rugby. Thoughts with uh, George Henry Colomb, obviously, as well, and I hope that's not too serious. It was uh, looked like he was, he was knocked out when he hit the ground, and hopefully, as we say, it's, it's not too serious. All good to go. So line out. Luke McGrath in place of Gibson Park. Lancer will have to contest the line out here. 90 seconds to go. Line out secure. Lara shall have the ball. Josh Van Der has come up the wrong side. He's given away another penalty, and that I can tell you. Your players formed it at the back. It's as good as that. So, La Rochelle, no. Ball already formed, seven around the corner. All they have to do right. now is kick this into touch, win the line it's out, right. and keep the ball, and they will be back to back right. champions. Stephen Ferris, right. can I ask you please for your Heineken star of the match? Well, it's late. edging towards a couple of Lancer players. Dan Sheehan has been superb. Jack Cunan had a brilliant first half as well, but. My Heineken star of the match has to be Gregory Aldred. He's given them go forward every time he's touched the ball. 17 carries in the game, 43 metres made. He leads by example, not only for his country, but for his club in La Rochelle. What a player. European Player of the Year, Heineken star of the match, about to be two-time Heineken Cup champions. 20 seconds to go. 
Leinster once again coming up short. The might, Stay the power, the, the skill of La Rochelle. Ronan O'Gara, two wins as a player, 2006 and 2008. Now to be Down two wins goal. as a coach, 2022 and 2023. Five seconds to go. La Rochelle will be Heineken Cup champions back to back. Incredible performance, amazing achievement. And it goes from Hastoy. La Rochelle, Heineken Cup champions once again. Oh, look at the scenes on the pitch. Players, coaching staff, the Leinster players down on their hands and knees. They actually are stunned, stunned, and so am I after that first 20 minutes. What a comeback. One of the great Heineken Cup finals we have ever seen. Tries a plenty. Leinster cannot believe. La Rochelle. Well, it's just testament, really, to their grit and resolve. All that talk as well about what a close-knit team that they were and they have been. They've shown it here today. Leinster, they had this game with a scruff in the neck and somehow they come up short once again.